Well, thanks so much for being with us here. We're we know that Help Wanted Ohio is working right now to get to the bottom of our employment issues, holding politicians accountable for getting the needed educational opportunities that can help move you up. Yeah, so let's bring in Tanisha Cordell. She's live this morning with how some local leaders just securing more funding to update uh, job training programs and really a vital industry here, Tanisha really vital. I mean, we've been talking about the shortages with health care, uh, you know, the industry in general. We need more nurses. We need more doctors here in Ohio and across the nation. The good news, we talked about legislators announcing state funding for programs here at Lakeland Community uh, College and also over at Northeast Ohio Medical University. That funding really geared towards, again, really filling the job voids and, and gaps that we're seeing in health care. There are eight medical schools in Ohio, one of them being Northeast Ohio Medical University. We look to make sure that our students are the best trained students um, graduating here in Northeast Ohio. Each year, we're told majority of the school's graduates end up staying, starting their medical careers right here in the Buckeye State. We want to make sure that when our students are graduating, they are um, of high quality, of course, um, but are very well prepared to go immediately into the workforce. Though there is concern, according to the Association of American Medical Colleges, or AAMC, by 2033, the U.S. will be facing a shortage of 139,000 physicians. Neomed admins, in order to curb shortages on campus and compete on a larger scale, they need one thing. It's really important to have the support of the state legislature. And the university, alongside Lakeland Community College in Kirtland, is getting just that with new state funding. Nearly $400,000 going towards the school's renovation project, work-based training, and equipment. LCC Kirtland set to get $131,000. State Representative Gail Pavliga of Portage County, who helped secure the funding, sent us this statement saying, this is an investment into higher education, our students, and our future workforce of Ohio. State Representative Jamie Callender adding, quote, skilled workers in health care are in high demand, and these funds will help make sure today's students in the medical field receive the best training possible. All right, now you know we've got you covered with all things jobs and that job search for more local employment or job training opportunities. Go check out the Help Wanted Ohio section. We have that uh, on our uh, website and inside our News 5 app. You can also use that job board uh, to search for open positions and openings all over and in different industries as well. I'm Tanisha Cordell, News 5.